G'day fellas. Now, when you're a professional outdoorsman like myself, you're bound to run into things that are constantly wanting to get the blood out of you. And I'm not talking about customers either. Today, huh, amazing, electricity. Oh, there's some more. Incredible. Well, today, whilst working in the garden, guess what happened? I got a tick. And you know where it is, don't you? It's right down there. So I'm going to show you the best way to remove a tick. We all know ticks are insects, so the best way to kill them is with insect killer, like this. Now, most people will tell you that this is a foolish and stupid, ridiculous thing to do. And they're probably right. But they are insects after all, and it's going to kill them. Well, at least I hope it does. It's either going to kill him or me, so... You'll also need some tweezers. Now, I'd normally use these to masturbate with, but I'm going to use this to try and remove this tick today. So, let's go. Right, let's get to it. <laughs> let's have a go. It's only a small one, but they don't need to be too big to cause inflammation. Just check that bad boy out. It's only tiny. First, we apply some fly spray. Make sure the room is ventilated as well. <coughs> Next you want the tweezers. You need to do it in a twisting motion. Now I can't remember if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, but it's one of them. And a quick jerk. And I left its head in there. I hate it when I leave the head in there. What will I do now? I might have to put the camera down to do this. I don't know if you can see that, but that's most of it. Now the rest is just going to bleed to death. Ugh. I'm feeling ill. The next thing I think you have to do after that is um, find. Stop. 